I wish Danny was here with us at this moment. I will try my best to take our family to the top, to take every step of the way to work your dreams. 15 years ago, Janet and Danny Pawnee packed up their eight kids and moved from the island of Tonga to the United States. They were looking for a better opportunity for their growing family. My husband and I tried to provide our children with a better education, and that's why we come here. The family was doing well. The kids were loving school, and Janet and Danny started a catering business, doing something they really love, which is bringing their Polynesian culture to other people through food and entertainment. We do luau's. I cook, he DJ, he MC, he dance with the rest of the kids. We're poor, but we're happy. Then two years ago, the family suffered a huge loss. Danny died of a sudden heart attack and left everybody in this close-knit family completely devastated. Everybody just ran to my mom, was crying, <laughs> and just asking questions, why? Why him? Why now? It was shock to me. I never thought that day come soon. It is too soon. It's hard to lose my loved one my best friend. <laughs> when I found out, I was devastated. I felt like my life was ruined. Oh, man. <laughs> and it was tough enough raising eight kids with both parents. Now, Janet's left alone not only raising these eight kids, but basically trying to hold everything together. I just think that's the end of my life, too. Because I can't do anything to support my family. Any money that comes in goes straight to the house mortgage or to put food on the table for the nine people that live there. There's not any money left over to repair a house that's literally falling down around them. This is the boys' bathroom. It's really bad in here. You can see up here the leaks and everything is all coming down. Right here on this side, this wall, we try to keep it up and stable. The leak just keeps coming down. My ceiling, it's um, peeling, so I don't sleep in here. I sleep with my mom. Wow. There's a leak in the foundation, the mold, nasty stuff. Up here, we have my window. It's really, oh, man, air gets by there so quick and it's really cold in this room. That's my room, ABC. Thanks for checking. The Pawnee family moved here in search of the American dream. They've survived the death of their father and husband, and they've done it by sticking together. But what they need is a house that works for them and works for their catering business. Yep. So what do you say? Can we do this? Absolutely. We're doing it. Well, bring it in here, people. Let's make it happen. Are you with me? We're yeah. with you. Well, then let's do it! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Everybody ready? Ready, ready. Here we go. Good morning, Pawnee family! Janet, Hiram, Spencer, Liza, George, Joe, Sue, Rachel, and little Jimmy, come on out! and girls from the Pawnee family, they attacked us like, thank God you guys are here. The house is in such bad shape, they can't get a permit to use their house to actually serve food for people. But with the catering truck, they can. That's all yeah. you have to cook yeah. everything on? That's my little stove sink and washing sink. They've tried to make it work, but it's in really bad shape. When my husband died, that's the year we were trying to get me a commercial trailer couldn't afford, so when he died, I try and collect all the money we have, aside from house payment, to fix a little bit here and there. Gotcha. So These guys have talent, they have passion, and they will have a very successful catering business if they had the right tools. What we need to do this week is not only build them a house, but give them the tools to make their business work. So mom, you guys follow me, let's go in. 
Show me your house. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, come on inside. Janet just started crying immediately as we walked into the house. And I think she just couldn't believe that this was actually happening to them. And she really wished that Danny could have been there to see this happen. You okay? Yeah, I was so overwhelmed. So excited. At the same time, I remember my husband. He's a great guy. He's a hardworking man. But it is a blessing for my family to get this opportunity. So you've been kind of having to be um, mom and dad and everybody at the same time lately, huh? Yes. Has that been pretty tough? I hardly sleep at night. I think of something to get my family going. Make sure that they will be in the house month after month. They're broke. I mean, times are tough. And Danny really kind of held them together. And now it's the kids really kind of holding mom together and holding this family together. They're all pitching in, trying to work together to do whatever they can to, to make it work. When he left, we just had to automatically switch right into parent mode. And we had to automatically think of all the things that he taught us. Just trying to be a parent for all my siblings and being, a, being an example life-changing experience. Last night, it got so cold, even the accelerator, the additive, was having problems curing the concrete. So the fellas wrapped all of these walls in like electric blankets. And I'll tell you something, it's a good job they did, because it works. Bus driver, move! I mean, I, I like to be, you know, that rock, but I just couldn't take it. I broke down. The memories, my father, the, the mortgage, the everything, the struggles that we had to go through, I mean, it's over. And now we, we start a new life. When I walk into my home, I feel relief. I was so happy. There's nothing compared to my new house. It's so warm kind of feeling. I feel safe now, in the right place. Mom just went straight to the kitchen. We have a new stove. Oh, Anna kept her house. Oh, we kept our stuff. No. And when we walked in and we just saw the tapa cloth right there, everyone was so excited. They're like, yeah, that's our Tongan pride. So yeah! We got the dimming lights going on. surprised I had my own room and my own bed. I actually got to sleep in the bed and not on the floor anymore.
my bedroom. That's my, my favorite part of the house. I love it. studio is my favorite room. I love it. It just is where I feel at home. You know, it hadn't been easy. You've been trying to run the business, run this family, and all the weight's been on your shoulders. So we thought you deserved a place that you could kind of get away and um, relax. So why don't you go check out your master bedroom? I think you're going to like it. <laughs> okay. Yes, Mom. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. It's him. I walk into my room and think, oh, yeah, this is a nice place for me. I will have a lot of relaxed time. I feel I'm the luckiest person. I love it. You walk in there and you find a sense of peace. I know she's going to be so happy in her new bedroom. So what do you think? You like? Love it. It's beautiful, huh? Yes. <laughs> so of course we brought in pictures of Danny too, yes. just to make sure he was in the room. Yeah. Me too. I wish Danny was here with us at this moment. I will try my best to take our family to the top, to take every step of the way to work your dreams.